Up off me. Up off. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look. Yeah, man, I'm in my robe with my boot because it's Tuesday and I don't feel like getting up. Oops! All right, man, look. Yeah, that's right. It's Tuesday. And I'm not a big fan of Tuesday, you know, I mean, it's like Tuesday to me is like a sophomore year in high school, right? I mean, Tuesday, what's the significance of it? Um, it's, you know, freshman year is your first year in high school. Uh, uh, junior year, you're becoming an upperclassman. You finally got over that hump. And then senior year, we all remember senior year. But sophomore year... I don't remember it. It's kind of like Monday. Monday is the beginning of the week, right? Wednesday is hump day. Thursday, most of us get paid, okay? But we know Friday is coming. Tuesday, you're just in the, the mess. You know what? Let's look up Tuesday. What is Tuesday? Now, this video is going to be my prediction video for Jamel Charlo versus Tony Harrison too. And I know you guys have seen my Prediction Beast series. And really, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's really a lot of fun, but if you are a boxing purist, a lot of those calls I made, you can make them too. I mean, you've made the same calls. It's not like it's that impressive. It's just very fun to do. Uh, so, you know, I, I did the little series, but I can, I can promise you one thing. I will be wrong, all right? So it's not like, you know, it's just fun to do. So let's see. Tuesday, what is Tuesday? All right. Tuesday is the day of the week between Monday and Wednesday. I know that. No. Uh, according to the international standard ISO uh, 8601, Monday is the first day of the week. And so Tuesday is the second. Come on. Give me something. Tuesday is the third day. Sunday is the first day of the week. Oh, some. Oh, and so Tuesday is the third day. Of, okay. Uh, the English name is derived from Old English to West Dig and Middle English to its day, meaning Tuesday, <laughs> the day of Tu, the god of single combat, and law and justice in Norse uh, mythology. Nice, nice, the god of single combat. Okay, then there you go, single man combat, boxing, there's no team. One on one. That's Tuesday. Well, let's talk about my prediction between uh, Jamel Charlo and Tony Harrison for their second fight on this day of single combat. Boot. I could. I got Jamel Charlo by Kale. Huh? How? When? Here's why. The first fight, in my opinion, Jamel Charlo, he should have gotten the nod, okay? But Tony Harrison, he won. And that reminds me of Rocky II, when Apollo Creed said to his trainer, uh, uh, do you think I beat Rocky Balboa? His trainer said, you got the decision. Apollo said, yeah, man, I won, but I ain't beat him. That's exactly how I feel about the Tony Harrison, Jamel Charlo, the first fight. Tony Harrison won, but he ain't beat him. I think Jamel Charlo was doing the beating. Now, when it comes to this second fight, I think, well, looking at the first fight, I think Jamel Charlo, remember the Charlo twins who was there coming out party and, and all of the pressure was on the fact that, hey, they're about to be big mega stars and these are the twins and it was their showcase. Both of them poor uh, uh, performances, okay? Jamel Charlo losing. And I think Jamel Charlo was rushing. He was fighting in a poor way. He was just trying to 
put on a show more than fight the fight. And Tony Harrison, he took advantage of it with a good, stiff jab. Now, let's talk about Tony Harrison, period, okay? He was doing the same thing where her, her walked through him, knocked him out. Tony Harrison is a good, technical, skillful fighter. But his resume, not the best. Uh, he has more knockouts, though, than Jamel Charlo. And it makes people think, well, who, who was the puncher here? Who did he knock out? I'm going to do this. When going into the second fight, I think Jamel Charlo, his head is in the right place. His head isn't about being on the, uh, the show and the showcase. His head, to me, is more of someone who has taken this personally and want to beat down Tony Harrison. And how does he perform like that? How does he perform with that type of mindset? All you need to do is look at the Erickson Lubin fight. There was bad blood leading up to that fight too. And what did Jamel Charlo do? He blew him out the water and Erickson Lubin, Erickson Lubin is one heck of a fighter. Now, when it comes to Tony Harrison, I think the same thing is gonna happen except Tony Harrison, better defense, right? Lubin was aggressive too. And in his aggression, Jamel Charlo took what he was working on in the gym and he caught him. Now, Tony Harrison, he ain't going to be that way. Tony Harrison, he's tight on his defense. I think Jamel Charlo, I think he boxes him and then he start breaking him down. Body shots, hard shots around the guard. I think he keeps the pressure on Tony Harrison, but not in a rushing way, in a boxing way. Bam, bam, body shot. Boom! And he keeps breaking down Harrison. Harrison is going to try to stick with the jab, move a little bit. But I think Jamel Charlo, I think they're working on that in the gym. How to cut off the ring and stay boxing. Okay? I think that's what Jamel Charlo does. Now, here's the thing about the Charlos. Both of them, their bodies, as far as athletes, they're extremely gifted when it comes to size, reach, power, athleticism, speed. They got a lot of those things, man. And I think when the heat is on, when they are coming to knock you out, take care of you, and all that gets amplified, it's very hard to stop that. The only way to stop that is to buy, is by being slick and by staying on target, right? Being responsible. And I think Tony Harrison is going to try to do, do those things. I just, don't, I just don't think he is the caliber of fighter where he can withstand that. And I'm talking about Jamel Charlo with a good mindset. I don't think he can withstand that and box and beat Jamel Charlo. I think he's going to work, but I, I think Jamel Charlo is going to wear him down, break him down. And here's the thing I saw about Tony Harrison. Just like what I saw about, I saw with Andy Ruiz. Here's what I saw with Tony Harrison. I think they achieved their maximum goal already. Andy Ruiz, when he became the heavyweight champion, he was celebrating. He achieved it already. I think Tony Harrison, regardless of what he says, I don't think he wants it as bad as Jamel Charlo wants his belt back. I don't think he wants to keep it as bad as Jamel Charlo wants his belt back. I think Tony Harrison will be fine come fight night. I think he will be convinced that it's okay to take a knee. Showbiz, the adult. I'm not sure if he gets knocked flat out. I think he gets TKO'd and worn out. I got Jamel Charlo by TKO. I'm out. Huh.